Texas, and then we will move on to questions from the floor. And again, we'll be here for approximately a half hour. Coach Strinkwitz will come to you first for an opening statement. Yeah, I just want to say our appreciation um, for being included in the uh, 88th Goodyear Cotton Bowl Classic. It's been an unbelievable event. Um, it starts first with people, and the people of the Cotton Bowl Classic have been unbelievable as far as hosting and taking care of our needs, making sure that we have everything we need to um, – especially on Christmas, you know, around the holidays for our families, our, our players to feel um, the warmth of the holidays here in, in Texas was really important and very appreciative to them. You know, but now we're to the point where it's about the game and uh, our focus needs to increase on the game. Uh, it's a great opportunity to be in a New Year's Six, but it's really important to play well. Um, to have 34 days off and, and play is a real challenge, and, and so our focus is to try to focus on the fundamentals, the things that are really going to matter, pre- and post-snap penalties, ball security, tackling. Um, and so today in our Fast Friday, that's going to be an emphasis for us to try to make sure that we play a clean game. Obviously, we've got an incredibly talented opponent. Um, you know, they, they have – all the makings of a championship football team, um, probably the most explosive team that we've played offensively with the combination at running back, tight end, and wide receiver. Their offensive line does an incredible job of both protection and establishing lines of scrimmage. Defensively, their front six is as tough and as strong as anybody in the country. I don't think their back end has uh, a whole lot of weaknesses. Their nickel player, uh, I think is a very talented player because of his ability to play both man and disguise coverage. Uh, and then obviously their special teams are elite. So tremendous challenge for our football team, uh, but we're excited to play. Uh, and I know our guys are ready to compete at a high level. Um, and so appreciative of, of the invitation to be here and appreciative of all uh, the opportunities that were afforded to us while we were here. Thank you, Coach. Now Coach Day. Yeah, and I'll echo what uh, Eli said about just how great everybody here um, at the Cotton Bowl has been. Um, we was here in, in 2017 and, um, you know, talked for a long time about the hosp hospitality that, um, you know, all the folks here um, you know, shared with our team, and, and it's been the same. It, it's been better. It's been better. And, and like Coach said, being here for Christmas is a different experience, but um, our guys have really enjoyed the week, but have also had a great week of practice. Uh, practice in a first-class facility like we're in right now, um, you know, made it easy and seamless. And uh, again, a lot of people have a lot of pride in this bowl, and so it's an honor to be a part of. Uh, practice has been good um, all week, and ramping up to the game. Uh, it started back in Columbus as we, you know, had our fundamental phase and then game plan phase. Put that in, and then and then came here and went through a week of um, of practice. Um, you know, it's it's been uh, exciting to see our team. Um, you know, rally around our, our quarterback, Devin Brown, who's going to be starting his first college game in the Cotton Bowl against uh, Missouri here, uh, who's a great team, um, very well coached, very talented, uh, good in all three phases, play complementary football, and, uh, and have a lot of momentum. So we know it's going to be a battle uh, tomorrow night, and our guys are excited for that. All right, Coach, thank you so much. Let's go to questions from the floor. Uh, remember... Raise your hand, the microphone will come to you. And I think our first question will go on coach's left here on the aisle. Uh, yeah, Andy Anders, 11 Warriors, is for Ryan Day. Uh, you've got a few guys in this game, uh, Xavier Johnson, Matt Jones, and Josh Proctor, that have been with the program a really long time, have actually seen out their full collegiate eligibility with the team. Just, just for those guys, um, what's it been like to see them go through this process for their final game? And uh, I, I guess what, what will the emotions be like afterward when, you know, they, they depart from the program? Yeah, we're going to petition to see if we can get some guys some eighth years and see if that's possible between COVID and medical. And, um, these guys have been in the program a long time, and each guy has their own story. And I think with a lot of the focus around, you know, the transfer portal and everything that's going on across college football, uh, these guys embody what it means uh, to be a student athlete. They've all, um, they're all going to have great NFL careers, uh, but they've made an impact. They've left a legacy behind uh, in their rooms. Uh, all of those guys uh, have been leaders. They've come up um, and, and really developed within the program and, and left something behind for the younger players. And that's, that's a sign of somebody who you know, really takes a lot of pride in, in where they're at. Uh, all those guys have had opportunities to either go and declare early to go to the NFL or possibly transfer somewhere else, and, and they didn't. <clears throat> they know what it means to be a Buckeye, and they're going to be missed. 